Okay, so today we're going to be reading up behind the scenes information associated with the classic Doctor Who serial, The Evil of the Daleks. All sourced from the TARDIS data core, the Doctor Who fan wiki. Okay, the working title of this story was The Daleks, which is the title of the first Dalek serial, the second ever Doctor Who serial. Of course, serials as a whole didn't have names, the individual episodes had names, which none of which were the Daleks as far as I know, maybe actually. Yeah, oh. yeah, so the working title of this serial, for some, whatever reason, known as the Daleks, some, also sometimes referred to as Daleks. A rumoured working title is War of the Daleks, but this does not appear on any contemporary BBC paperwork. Written by former Doctor Who script editor David Whitaker, The Evil of the Daleks was initially intended to be the last Dalek story on Doctor Who. Writer Terry Nation, the creator of the Daleks, was busily trying to sell the Daleks to American television at the time. She produced a spin-off series featuring them. To facilitate a sale and the possible sale of an American Dalek series to ITV, Nation requested that the BBC relinquish its rights to the Daleks and cease using them. Accordingly, the BBC intended to give them a big send-off from the series. Of course, despite the Doctor's pronouncement, this was not to be his last encounter with these most famous of his adversaries. In addition, despite the intention to kill off the Daleks, Innes Lloyd was told at the last moment before filming the final scene not to. He did this inserting a light globe inside one of the wrecked Daleks in the Emperor Dalek's chamber. This light globe suggesting that something within remained alive. Originally, the Doctor and Edward Waterfield would have travelled back to Earth in the year 20,000 BC and retrieve a caveman named Og, from whom the Doctor was to deduce the essence of humanity. Sounds a bit like an unearthly child, the very first Doctor Who serial ever. That's odd. The Daleks' plan was to eradicate this quality from every generation of man, thereby eliminating Earth as a threat. Meanwhile, Jamie and Victoria were held hostage on Skaro. The concept of a Dalek Emperor originated from Dalek Planetarium, and the first Emperor appeared in Invasion of the Daleks, both part of the Dalek Book. Not only does the evil of the Daleks bring the concept into the TV series, but later stories firmly establish that the Emperor in both stories is the same individual, the Dalek Prime. This makes the Emperor the second character originating in spin-off media to appear on television, having been preceded by the Black Dalek leader, the Emperor's second in command. Anne Waterfield, probably Victoria's mother, featured in the plot in the early stages of its gestation. Anik Wills and Michael Craze are both contracted up to episode 2 of this serial to appear as Polly and Ben. However, it had been decided during the previous serial that the characters would be dropped. Consequently, both actors had their contracts paid up and were released after episode 2 of The Faceless Ones. Several model sequences shot on film for episode 7 were directed by Timothy Cohn, though he received no on-screen credit. This was the last story on which Jerry Davis served as story editor. This is the first seven-part story since Marco Polo was released three years earlier. The evil of the Daleks was wiped from the BBC archives in the late 1960s. Only a telerecording of episode two remains, which was returned to the BBC archives in May 1987 along with episode three of The Faceless Ones by a private collector who acquired the episodes at a car boot sale a few years earlier. A copy of the soundtrack was released in 1992. A second version of an alternative narration was released in 2003. An 8mm home movie of the filming of the Dalek battle sequence exists and is included on the DVD of The Tomb of the Cybermen. We'll close it here because there's quite a few pieces of behind the scenes information here. We might save it for the next one just so we don't go too long and you know, get a little copyright strike or anything, anything nasty like that. Thanks again, my friends. Appreciate it immensely.